So hemorrhoid artery ligation is a very specialized technique. It, it is a type of surgery that we would use for patients that may have prolapsing hemorrhoids, for example. So what I mean by prolapsing hemorrhoids is if you have hemorrhoids or piles that come out of the back passage and they're very large, then hemorrhoid artery ligation is one technique. There are actually about 10 to 12 different techniques for dealing with hemorrhoids. But what we do during hemorrhoid artery ligation is that we would actually put some stitches to the blood vessels that feed the hemorrhoids. And this is done under a general anesthetic. So we put stitches to actually to stop the blood vessels to those hemorrhoids. And at the same time, what we would also do is put additional stitches to reduce the prolapsing hemorrhoids, to repair that area so that the prolapse is completely eliminated from it. Done under a general anesthetic, is usually done as a day case procedure. And one advantage of this is that it does not involve any cuts or leaving any raw areas that, that the traditional treatments for hemorrhoid, uh, hemorrhoid and uh, excision and removal do. So I think, you know, one thing to say is that if people tell you that um, any treatment for hemorrhoids is not painful, that then I think that you're gonna take it with a pinch of salt because it's such a sensitive area of the body. The anal canal is very sensitive. We're always aware of it. Uh, we go to the loo regularly on a daily basis and we're wiping and cleaning that area. So I think it's such a personal space and such a sensitive area that any treatment to that area is going to have some discomfort associated with it. Now, there are certain treatments that that will have less pain and others will have more. So treatments that offer sort of cutting of the hemorrhoids are gonna be more painful than treatments that don't. So things like hemorrhoidal artery ligation that we're talking about would have certainly less pain, but it's still done under a general anesthetic. And we would use local anesthetic at the end of the procedure to try and keep things as comfortable as possible. But you should expect some pain afterwards, certainly for the first week after surgery, because what we are doing is putting stitches inside the back passage, and that can put pressure in the anal canal uh, to cause some pain. So I think, you know, I think I say comparison treatments of different hemorrhoidal surgeries is very interesting because actually there are many different procedures that surgeons offer. And myself, I, you know, I do a whole host of different hemorrhoidal uh, procedures. But the advantage of doing a lot of different procedures is that you can really tailor the procedure that's best for that individual patient because every patient is different and and what they expect uh, and what their expectations are from surgery is very different going from one patient to another so it's important for us to to listen to our patients and try and understand what they're trying to achieve what their most important aspect is before sort of embarking on any particular treatment. So if you look at, you know, hemorrhoidal artery ligation or the HALO procedure, which is also um, a hemorrhoidal artery ligation or THD, which is, which is the similar sort of thing where you would actually um, put stitches to, to, uh, to stop and block the blood supply to the hemorrhoids. Those will all have a very similar pain profile after. You also mentioned about, you know, Raffaello procedure. A Raffaello procedure, is a very interesting new procedure. It's radio frequency ablation under local anesthetic. So it it's, doesn't involve a general anesthetic. It involves a local anesthetic in the outpatient setting. And actually, because where we treat the hemorrhoids is, hasn't got any nerves, it's not painful during the procedure. So what it involves really is, is heating and shrinking the hemorrhoids, which takes about five to six minutes to do in the outpatient setting. Uh, and therefore, it's a, got a, it's a completely different profile to the other procedures. Now, in terms of comparison as to which one is better and which one isn't, often the more invasive surgical procedures are more successful in terms of treating hemorrhoids, but they come with a caveat of having more pain. And patients may not be able to take two or three weeks off work because pain is a significant aspect of those. Whereas things like Raffaello procedure may have a success of only 80 to 85 percent in a lot of situations however there's less pain as an outpatient procedure so often my patients you know would steer to with something that's more minimally invasive to suit their needs and, and ensure that they get back to work 
in a timely fashion. I think, you know, the first thing to say is that if you have uh, symptoms from hemorrhoids, uh, these are often, you know, can be either bleeding from the back passage or itching or leakage or indeed prolapse um, where the hemorrhoid is coming out of the back passage. And uh, you, sometimes patients can also have pain. I think what's important is, is to try to identify, you know, what is the most concerning aspect. Some patients may find the most concerning aspect is itching or the most concerning aspect is bleeding. So we need to try and tailor treatments based on that. It's really important to, to try some conservative measures rather than just rush into surgical options. And conservative measures would be things that are very simple. You know, they might be, you know, avoid spending a lot of time on the loo, avoid straining. So don't read on the loo for a long time or don't use your mobile phone on the loo. You know, go there, do your business and then, and then go off. Because the more time that you spend or particularly on an English loo, in Western loos, uh, you know, the, the more likely you are to put that pressure and, 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 and instigate having hemorrhoids. The second aspect is, you know, you keep to a high fiber diet, plenty of fruit and vegetables, plenty of fluids, keep the bowel transit easy so you avoid straining and that can reduce the risk of you having more symptoms from hemorrhoids. If you have hard stool, the likelihood is that you're gonna get more bleeding. And therefore, if bleeding is your main concern, you know, you soften your stools, taking softeners, taking high fiber, taking lots of fluids, doing some exercise, and that might help and stop the bleeding. And therefore, you avoid the need for having any treatment. And then finally, really, if you are, if you have tried conservative measures, and then you think you do want to, to think about treatment, there are, there are several outpatient treatments that you could, you could try. So go to a, a, a surgeon that offers a whole array of treatments that, you know, outpatient treatments as well. You know, we put, can put tight rubber bands on hemorrhoids in the outpatient setting. Uh, we can also use burn the hemorrhoids with Raffaello in an outpatient setting. And these sort of measures uh, can be used uh, before embarking on the more invasive uh, procedures that require a general anesthetic and often have a more, uh, a, you know, painful profile in the post-operative period. 